Avoiding Change Order Nightmares, A Process for Prosperity. Hello, I'm Chuck Butall, Director of Education for the Restoration Technical Institute, and it's time for another When It Comes Down To It. In this particular case, we're going to be talking about change orders and their proper implementation of. If you do not properly design a change order and implement it, it can be one of the worst nightmares on a project. Change orders in residential typically can cost businesses thousands of dollars and as well as a very upset customer. In the commercial world, I've actually seen change orders not being followed, costing into the several hundreds of thousands into the lower millions of dollars. This is a very serious thing, folks, and it has to be treated properly. Change orders are critically important. They are legal changes to that contract. And because you're making legal changes to the contract, it's going to affect every aspect of that job. So you need to make absolutely sure that your change order is discussed with everyone and then executed in writing whether it be electronic or whether it be an actual paper is not that big of a thing, but you need to make sure all involved parties are in agreement and have signed it once you have decided the changes necessary to complete the project. Change orders or changes in a project are most of the time unforeseen. There are problems with materials being delivered on site or maybe the wrong materials delivered on site. Maybe it's a longer delay time it's going to be as we're all facing now um, with manufacturing and distribution issues. The concept here is whether it's for materials or whether it's for services rendered, we're gonna be changing the wording of the contract. Now, you can only bill for what your scope of work in the contract allows you to bill for. So if you do a change order and you perform those services and install those materials and don't actually change the scope of work in writing, that basically means that the customer can get those services for free because you never wrote it down and had them sign it. They only sign the original scope of work, which means that's all they're responsible for paying you for. So you are literally ensuring to give the customer an out not to pay you if you do not follow through with change orders properly. The legal ramifications for change orders, or besides just the billing aspect of it, the biggest issue is, again, it changes the validity or puts into question the validity of the entire contract. I've actually seen now where change orders not being signed change the original contract so much that the original contract is also held no longer valid. And now you're looking for court documented references. At best, you're looking at a couple years worth of fighting in court and typically tens of thousands of dollars of attorney's costs. And can you even afford to wait that long a period of time, two, three, possibly five years or longer for the money that you're owed for that change order? Basically, the other thing about change orders is the tracking. When you make a change order in a contract, it's not just a piece of paper. It's not just a material that needs to be changed out or some additional labor. We have to worry about our administration team. They have to insert it. They have to notify about change orders for what? Billing purposes, material change orders, and of course, ordering materials. Your subcontractors and those people are going to need to know about it or your labor force so they can actually make the changes happen. And then, of course, the other part about it is it can greatly affect the customer's project timing and their satisfaction. So again, always remember, first thing to do when anything happens and a change order is necessary, go ahead, discuss it with the clientele, put it in writing, have everyone sign on it, and then make sure it's distributed to everyone involved, subcontractors, your administration, their administration, as well as any third-party people involved. When it comes down to it, not filing or writing down change orders and informing other people of them is one of the single largest mistakes a project manager can make in the field. And if you can't effectively manage change orders, you're not actually a good project manager. As always, thanks for CNR for distribution of the series. And of course, thank you for learning with rtilearning.com.
number one, the big thing about change orders are they're going to, they're critically important. Ah, hold on. I'll stop that. I'll look down at the wrong thing. There we go. <laughs> That's the only problem with notes. If you look at the wrong note, make absolutely sure you positively Okay, kill it there for a second. I think what we want to do. Is cut that before I say make absolutely sure.